Welcome to today's episode. It's going to be a sick one. This episode, we take you from Coffin Bay into the Port Lincoln National Park. We do some exploring before leaving the town. G'day legends, welcome back to another episode. So today we are in the Port Lincoln National Park. We've left the caravan in Port Lincoln itself, just over the bloody ocean there. So this place is super cool. We're gonna show you exactly what you can do in the National Park and show you what you can do on the township too. So we've actually got a sneaky little tour booked as well. It's not the Great White Shark <laughs> Dive, which we will do one day, but it's something else. So can't wait to show you that and uh, can't wait to show you this beautiful National Park. So let's get into it, I guess. Hill. This one's a nice little picnic area where you can come spend the day. There is campsites just around the corner too, so a nice little spot. Just got down to September Beach. This joint is absolute paradise. You've got a nice little swimming beach here, nice sandy, and then I reckon there'd be King George Whiting in there as well. We're not 100% sure of where the best beaches are in this national park, so we're literally just following our nose until we find one. And uh, if you want to come out here, it is 13 bucks at the start. You got to pay your entry fee, and I'm pretty sure it's 13 bucks per night to stay out here in a caravan. So. You definitely want to come out here for a few days at a time, I reckon, and uh, bring your fishing rods, because I reckon you'd be on here. Um, we might come out another day with a bit of squid or something and um, have a flick in. It's almost half tempting to get the squid jig out and try to catch some bait and then try to get a King George. But we'll keep trekking on and we'll find a better beach for it, I'm sure. come down here to the next beach around from September and yeah just trying to catch a squid. I reckon there'd be King George Whiting everywhere around here. There's a charter boat out there and a massive school of birds and they're not here for no reason so if we can just get a squid we'll have some good bait for a, uh, a good chance at a King George Whiting hopefully and uh, yeah hopefully this area isn't too fished out so oh my god I don't think I've ever seen dolphins move that fast in my life. They were literally right around the other bay. So I quickly ran over here to try and get footage of them. And I was still staring right out there. And then I looked to my right and I was like, holy crap, they're already there. And then when I looked again, they were all the way over where Keelan is. Like moving so fast. I think definitely they were hunting and um, getting a bit of food for themselves. But how nice is this spot? It's so beautiful. The water is crystal clear. It's like all little rock pools, Keelan's standing up there. There's not a breath of wind. It's actually really hot, to be honest. Reckons it's 25 today, but it's very humid. <laughs> but yeah, it's such a beautiful day. Oh, oh shit, what is that? Oh, it's a squid. <laughs> Oh, he's so tiny. That's bait. Watch out. Watch out. 
How good's that? Caught a squid. Now watch me turn this into a fish. What'd you get? It's like a little trumpeter. Like a <laughs> rass trumpeter. <laughs> That's Sarah's best fish. Look at its little teeth. Nasty little buggers. He swallowed it. Fish. Oh, is that? That. It's another one. Same fish. <laughs> I thought there'd be King George Whiting here in this hole, but they're definitely proving very hard to find. Might need to move on and try a different spot. Fish. Oh, it's diff oh, it's a parrot fish, is it? It's a wrasse. Oh. So there's another different species of wrasse. So the one I caught before, this one's actually looking like a really pretty fish. I thought that was a parrot fish. Nah, wrasse. Oh. Yeah, it's a wrasse. Oh up. no. Will they, will they come up here? Oh no. Will they come up here? I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh look, he's looking right at us. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, he's right there! Oh, because I probably smell them fish. Yeah. Yay, it's good for dinner! <laughs> How good's that? <laughs> Gave up on the whiting. Just go the squid, I reckon. So I've just cleaned up them little squid. So one of them's quite small, and then the other one's a decent sized tube. And tonight we're actually going to try eat the tentacles. I've never eaten them before, but apparently they're not too bad. And this one had a, a decent sized head and tentacles on him. So I've get, gotten rid of the head and uh, just tried the tentacles. We'll see what happens. We might go to Coles, grab some honey soy uh, garlic recipe and we'll show you how to coat it all in that Yum. and Sarah wants to make a pumpkin and Greek yogurt um, yeah. salad Ray's made it the other day so I want to yeah. try it <laughs> so we're gonna try a pumpkin and Greek uh, yogurt salad with squid for, some, for dinner tonight so we'll show you guys how to prepare that and we'll head back to camp now so we just got back to Port Lincoln National oh, no we didn't <laughs> so we just got back to Port Lincoln Caravan Park and we're going to show you guys how to cook up this really nice pumpkin salad. Well, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just helping Sarah cut the pumpkin because apparently she can't do it. So check this out. <laughs> wow, you're so strong. <laughs> anyway, that's me done. I'm retiring, hanging up the boots. I'll uh, pass you over to Sarah. So I'm just cutting off the skin of the potatoes. I'm just cutting off the skin of the pumpkins. Then we're gonna boil it for a little bit and then we're gonna chuck it in the grill to roast them. Because we don't have an oven, but soon we'll have a Weber, so this will be a lot easier. I'm just taking the pumpkin out into the grill. I've actually overcooked it a little bit. As you can see in the middle, it's like very mushy. But I'm hoping that it still like crispens it up a little bit, but oh well, it still tastes good. I'm just making the dressing for the roasted pumpkin. Pretty much what you put in it is your Greek yogurt and then you put in two cloves of minced garlic, four tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, and this is all thanks to Chasing the Rays. Bonnie taught me this. We had it the other night for dinner and it was so good. So I asked her for the recipe and that's it. All right, good day, you bloody turkeys. I've booted Sarah out of the kitchen. It's time for me to show her how to bloody cook some squid, mate. All right, so what we're gonna do is we don't, I had to ask Sarah which is a tea, <laughs> tablespoon and what's a teaspoon. I don't bloody know. Normally I just go a bit of this and then a bit of that and then a bit of this and then but sometimes it doesn't turn out that good. So Sarah's actually coerced me into actually using proper measurements. Uh, and like you guys all know, we are bringing out an ebook. So let me just sign into my phone here. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. So I'm pretty sure that's a tablespoon. So we'll just get a few of these going on. 
One. Oh my god. Two. Three, and then just a bit more. Gallon! <laughs> um, two cloves of glass garlic. <laughs> so, I reckon that's about this much. Chuck her all in like that. Lucky we like garlic. <laughs> uh, bit of pepper, we'll do that last. And three tablespoons of honey. So, I'm pretty sure a table... Few honey, honey scoops. <laughs> No one will want us to cook them dinner, because look at you. Well, I'm not the one writing the e-book, so. <laughs> Alright, so that's two. And then I reckon that'll that'll probably do all day. Alright, so once you do that, you just ditch all your dishes into the sink like that. And then Sarah will come along and do those for you. Oh, that's good honey. <laughs> it's good natural honey. That's actually honey from one of my work friends, Bob. Him and his wife make it at home. It's beautiful. So nice. Alright, so that's what it looks like once you dollop everything in. So what I'm going to do... Add some pepper. Oh yeah, add pepper. A bit of bloody... Get the blade out. Bit of pepper. Let's grab me little teaspoon. Give her a bit of a bloody splashy splosh. It's uh, a nice consistency. Don't stress too much about the consistency. Um, it's the squids all chopped up there. She's just going to slide on in like a slippery dip. That bloody water bomb part. Just like that. Beautiful. Bunch of squids in. And we're even eating the tentacles. So we're going to try the tentacles today. Uh, not too sure if they're going to work really good. But I'm going to give it a bit of a shake now. So the trick to this is getting a nice sealed Tupperware container so it doesn't shake everywhere. I'm not actually too sure about this one so it should be interesting. Make sure you got your stabilizers down on your van when you're doing this. Just give her a bloody. <laughs> That should be good. Let's open her up and have a look. Look at that, that's beautiful. Yum. Nice coated squid. Now I'm gonna fire up the bloody Barbie and uh, let's get this show on the road. If you had time, you could probably marinate it for a little bit, but we don't have time, yeah. so. So I've got the pan on, a little bit of oil at the bottom. I like to shallow fry them. So I'm gonna throw in a test a bit. So I always throw in a test a bit just to make sure the pan is hot enough before I uh, throw all the rest of the squid in. So you, pretty much you don't want a slow cook squid. Squid's good when you cook it hard and fast, hot and fast, like I always say, and uh, get it on the bloody plate. So here we go, it should sizzle. There we go, we know it's hot enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up the rest of them. Oh no. Oh my god, Now we're cooking. Who's cleaning the kitchen after this? Definitely not me. <laughs> Look at that. Yum, that smells so, oh my god, it's so foggy in here. Open the door. You know what they say, if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> oh. Well, the smoke alarm <laughs> works. <laughs> So the squid is cooked, we just spoke to the fire brigade, uh, told them it was a false alarm and they should go knock off and have a few beers at the pub. Anyway, Sarah's just plating up the salad right now. It's looking absolute, well it's looking colourful so it should be really tasty. And uh, let me just show you the damage on the squid. Sarah did say cook this outside so if so, you... So, because I said cook it outside and he chose to cook inside and now he's made a mess inside, who should be doing the cleaning tonight? I'll show you guys what the mess, so definitely cook this stuff outside. It does splatter a lot more than uh, salt and pepper squid, so check this out. A few splatters up here. We're looking at splatters even up on the, up on the canvas. Oh We've got God. splatters on the wall. I guess that's why they call them splashbacks, because you uh, get a bit of a splashback off it when, the, uh, when you're cooking squid on the barbie. Anyway, we're going to um, plate this up and we'll show you what it looks like.
Yeah, even the tentacles look really good. I think I get put too much on that plate. Oh. So we've just plated up the salad. We've got baby spinach, the roasted pumpkin, feta, and baby tomato. And then we've got baby tomato, <laughs> cherry tomatoes. And then we've got our dressing that we made. So let's chuck a bit of that on. How good does that so look? So good, yum. Try it. The which part? Just try squid. Yeah, it's yum. I reckon with a bit of chilli, that'd be so good. So I'm going to try a tentacle now. So I've never really eaten tentacles before. I've always just eaten the tube. So this will be pretty interesting. Oh, it sounds crunchy. Just Yeah, it's a little suckers on the end of the tentacles. They like crisp up. <laughs> but yeah, it tastes exactly like the tube. Definitely mm. can eat the tentacles. Um, and you'll get a lot more out of your squid. So tomorrow the plan is... Wake up semi early, then head out to a spot called Memory Cove. Yeah, Memory Cove. So ironic that you couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> yeah, that is ironic. But we need a key for it. So our mates raising the suns, who we've been with the last few apps, they've actually gone and got the key from the Shire, and I think it's two hours up there. So we're gonna go up there for the day, and we'll show you guys what it's like tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Do you want to try the salad and let everyone know what it tastes like? <laughs> He's raving on about his squid. Hasn't tried my salad. Yum, that's really good. Is it good? Is the sauce yep. right? Yeah, it's yum. Surprised you know how that works. How you do it? You do it like that. <laughs> good morning. Today we're heading out to Memory Cove in Lincoln National Park. It takes about two hours to get up there, so we've actually woken up early today. You can probably tell. <laughs> <laughs> we've been sleeping until like nine every day, so we've had to wake up early, but it's definitely going to be worth it. It's yeah. pretty overcast and it wasn't meant to be raining, but it's 100% raining right now. So yeah, we're in a cloud. <laughs> the whole peninsula here is in a cloud, so that should be fun. This spot we're taking you to, Memory Cove, is 40 kilometres up this road here, and apparently you need a key to get in, so don't not come up here without a key because you will get to the end and you'll be bitterly disappointed. Go to the visitor centre, I think a key is $50 and it's just a deposit so you do get your money back and you can come up here. So I think they only let 15 cars in here a day. So Or 15 keys. Yeah, 15 yeah. keys. Yeah, let's do it. We're just down at Memory Cove. This spot is absolutely beautiful. It's like Esperance blue waters, so still, calm, amazing. Definitely worth the two hour drive in. How's this cloud coming out over the range onto the ocean? It's so low, you can literally feel it in the air. So just came for a walk up the point here at, uh, let me remember, what's it called? 
Oh yeah, Memory Cove. And uh, yeah, tried to for a squid, but it looks perfect ground for him. Like I'm right on the water here and I've walked way up past the overfish section. And yeah, I thought I would have got one for sure, but she's uh, slow going today. I didn't get anything. Maybe it's the color of the jig. I've actually downgraded the size. I'm using a 2.5 gram jig now because I think that you'll get more squid. Uh, I'm not too sure, but a guy rocked up yesterday with a small jig and he uh, got a lot. So anyway, no luck here, but it's not to say that we won't get one today. I'll uh, keep having a crack, but look how good the day is. It's just absolutely stunning here. So the bay that we're sitting at is just around the corner here and there's dolphins playing, there's seals. It's, it's incredible this joint. Definitely put this on your list. Come out to see Memory Cove. It is about two hour drive out here, so it's not a short trip. And uh, people are actually getting their caravans and stuff down here, which is pretty cool. The, the road in's pretty, pretty tame. It's not too out of control. There's a couple sections that are a bit, how you going? But apart from that, uh, pretty, pretty good tracking, but it takes two hours. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna keep trying for squid and some fish and stuff, so. If I catch anything, I'll let you know, but yeah, what a day. Cool is this so we've just pulled up to secluded cliff beach and as you guys can see today it's just been so cloudy but all the clouds are really low so we're actually driving through a lot of them and the temperature changes like that so as soon as you get close to a cloud it's almost like it's air-conditioned air outside it's so strange but the humidity is through the roof um, but yeah how's this beach absolutely no one here and yeah pretty much only a few cars in the park today secluded beach that's yeah. its name. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. So nice. G'day legends. So it's a new morning. Last night we got absolutely belted by the biggest storm. Thunder, lightning, about 100 mil of rain. The whole caravan park's pretty much flooded. But today we've got something exciting to show you. So we've teamed up with Adrenaline. Uh, tours they pretty much have tours all around Australia and today we are doing a mountain bike trail ride into the Port Lincoln National Park so these things are super sick they're very expensive pieces of equipment I know they're so cool they're literally e-bikes so you've got a little panel here and you can put it on tour or mountain bike mode or extreme mode no turbo mode Turbo mode. and, and because you just click through and it literally like as you're riding it's just like pushing you as you go it's so good so because of all this rain though it is making the track like really wet so pretty much this bag this backpack I'm I've got on the back of me <laughs> is not gonna be black anymore it's gonna be brown by the end of this is it from and, the mud but anyway we're gonna uh, keep going on today should be really fun so my bet is actually Sarah stacking it today um, I'm the outdoor ed teacher yeah true she's an outdoor ed teacher <laughs> anyway we're just gonna cycle along this inlet all the way around to the Port Lincoln, the Port Lincoln National Park and uh, yeah we've got another surprise after the bike ride so let's get into it probably reached halfway point out to the national park so it's about 15 k's so Sarah's bums are already looking brown and I'm not too sure if that's because she was scared or if the track was a bit muddy but how's this joint we've just pulled up the whole drives like this the whole ride and uh, we're heading out that way so I don't know if you guys can see over the water there but that's the Port Lincoln National Park and that's where we're heading so we got to go through Tulka a little coastal town and then we pretty much get to the road but we officially suck at this. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what do you mean? Speak for yourself. Yeah, what a spot. Absolute stunner day compared to yesterday. And uh, this tour is definitely pretty fun. So let's keep cracking on.
we've just pulled up here at Seaford Mere. It's like a little salt lake and there's some swans in there with their babies. So cute. This ride has honestly been so much fun. Like there's been the most amazing scenery. It goes from bushland to the ocean to sand dunes. Like it's so good. And we're really not that fit as you guys know. And these are so easy to ride because you can just switch between like turbo mode and eco mode. It's awesome. So the funniest thing just happened. There was a massive puddle of water and I was way ahead of Sarah and I got off and walked my bike through it. To give you a bit of background story, Sarah's normally like really conservative one, like real sensible, safe, not a risk taker at all. I'm the polar opposite. I normally take the risks and do dumb stuff. Anyway, I've walked my bike through this huge puddle. Sarah just comes ripping around the corner and just fangs it up the bank and like pretty much gets sideways. It was so radical. And she landed it and came out the other side and I was like, who the hell are you? <laughs> anyway, that was pretty funny. I've never seen Sarah do something so reckless in my whole life, which was fun to watch. So now we're at this uh, Seaford Mere. We're going to head along the bank and uh, hopefully this takes us back towards Port Lincoln. Uh, and apparently this is the nicest part of the ride, so it should be good. Thank you so much for watching guys we had the best time yesterday on those bikes it was literally like one of the funnest things we've done in south australia and the little electric motor just made the whole thing so yeah. easy like we're not even sore today i thought we'd be so really sore, sore. we did 40 k's on the bike <laughs> so that was what that loop was our butts hurt but it's not exactly like riding 40 k's on a non-assisted pushy but fun fact for you guys all out there bicycles are actually the most efficient form of transport energy input in actually equals energy input out pretty much very little losses so there's your fun fact for the episode i hope you guys enjoyed this one we certainly did and if you're new to our channel please do make sure you hit the like and subscribe button thanks heaps <laughs> for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one Woo!